Okay, so in this video, we're going to set up a virtual host in our WAMP server that we can run our WordPress from. So the first thing we need to do is to put a folder in. So here we are, PC WAMP, where I installed it, www. And what we need to do is just create a new directory. And I'll call it um, WP1. Yeah, not very imaginative today. Okay, so that's that. Next thing I need to do is go to download a WordPress files. So that's wordpress.org forward slash download. And once that's downloaded, as you can see, I had done it before. Uh, that comes up here and then we want to extract those files i use pzip once those files are extracted i need to copy those get rid of that folder where's the other folder I have three screens here if you wonder why things keep disappearing off this off your view. Right, so there is our try that again. Select all copy. Oh no, they are coming. It just took a while. So there are our WordPress files. So that's a good start. Now next thing we need to do is to give ourselves a database to put the WordPress files in. So we need to go to PHP MyAdmin. And if you need to log in, it's root and no password. Uh, we create a new folder, database, sorry. We'll call it WP1. There we are. Yes, people might notice our WordPress ones there is the one I tried a little bit earlier. So now we've got a empty database. We have a directory with some files in it. So that's all looking good. So we need to go back to localhost. Don't need those anymore, hopefully. And you can see we've got our project there. That's wonderful. So you can see the project. We now need to add a virtual host so that we can link it all up. So name of a uh, host, I'm just going to call it WordPress one. I want to, um, I'm actually going to use 127.0.0.2, make it easier. And I need the folder where it is. So um, I shouldn't have closed that folder, should I? So it's going to be C, and then it's going to be WAMP, and then it's going to be Web, and then it's going to be WP1, like that. Copy that, and go down there for now. Paste that in there, and that should be it. Okay, we've got to restart the DNS to make it work. Uh, uh, the effective way, really, what we've got to do is restart our WAMP. So, because we're not going to use the DNS, we can use the IP address, but we still need to, and uh, left click, not right click, left click, left click, restart all services. Okay, so left click. Virtual hosts, go to local host, go to 127.0.0.2, and there we are. We have the beginnings of a um, oh, it's not going to give me English British, is it? It's going to give me American. There it is. So let's do our five minute install. So the 
database name was WordPress was WP1. See, I'm forgetting it already. It's good. If you do forget it, of course, you could have a look. Username for the database is root. There is no password. It's 127.0.0.2 and table prefix part of WP. Hit submit. Seems to be happy about that. Run the install. I set all my sites to admin admin as they're local it really doesn't make any difference install that's my password protection program and there we are admin admin remember me login there we are. There's our copy of WordPress running on a virtual host. Nice and easy. And it's at 6 minutes and 15 seconds, but that includes downloading everything. So that's not bad. Thanks for watching.